Delaney camera shot right there from Ridgefield. Welcome back to Afternoon Live. Well, it's a topic that most couples feel too sensitive about to discuss, sex. Yep, we're going there. And our next guest says, with a little patience and tenderness, you'll be able to express yourself and motivate your partner. All in one fail swoop. So here with more tips for opening up sexually with our partners, we welcome back sex coach Christine D'Angelo is with us. I almost Hello. had your, I almost had I your, I forgot that you got <laughs> married and I almost had your name wrong, but I got it. That's the married name now. Yes, got I you. still do it. It's weird. It's weird to say it. No, out yeah, yes. Isn't it though? Like, yes. Yeah, it takes a while to get the new name going. <laughs> yes. But, um, Let's talk about sex, Let's baby. Let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> we can't sing too much of the song, otherwise no. we have to pay for it. Oh, okay, I we can't don't want afford to. that. Yeah. No, no, no. Haven't got the Christmas bonus yet. <laughs> so <laughs> let's talk, though, seriously. Um, this is a topic that a lot of people are really sensitive about, even yes. with the person that they're hoping or having sex with. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Yeah. It, what you're doing is you're asking your partner to be vulnerable, mm. and that's scary because there's the unknown. So when you're asking your partner to open up to you sexually, what you're really asking for is more intimacy, right? right. You're asking for a deeper connection. Um, so when you take vulnerability and meet that with a loving response, you get intimacy. So. I'm here to give you tips on how to kind of, um, kind of curate that vulnerability in your relationship mm -hmm, so that mm -hmm. your partner feels safe to open up to you. Okay, so now before we get into the tips, I just want some clarity. Are we yeah. talking about opening up after you've already had a sexual experience with your partner or is this the initial like, I'm going in? It's more of the going in, like okay. you, the, you feel like there's, you want more, like there's something missing, like you want your partner to be able to open up to you and talk about their fantasies and maybe oh. try some experimentation. Oh, and so you could have already had sex before. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was talking about the initial like conversation, like you've been dating or you you haven't had it yet. Yeah, I think this is more towards couples who okay. are looking to broaden. I see. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now that we got that out the Good. What are the tips then to help, I don't know, I guess somebody who's feeling a little more exploratory or sure. adventurous and they don't know how to really approach their partner that way? Well, the first place I would start is writing a letter to your partner oh. um, because chances are you've, you've most likely vocalized in some way to your partner that you want something more, mm -hmm. but you might that might be met with them, your partner shutting down and maybe not responding to you. So if you write a letter, it's coming from a place of love you really sat down and thought about what you wanted to say you're letting your partner know how much you love them and care about them reasons why you're wanting to open up more dialogue with okay. them okay um, and let them know that you provide a safe space for them to be vulnerable and then at the end of the letter do you put a little get back to me because sometimes because I can see it being like oh boy read the letter put it away yeah. avoidance yeah. if they're already nervous about it right so if you put a little call to action at the bottom right maybe really it's like like you know, to talk about it. Yes, like yeah. soon. Yeah, hopefully the letter is is opening the conversation okay. in a new it's a new approach oh, to maybe right. have the same conversation. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So how do you feel about um, couples doing things together in order to enhance their sexual relationship like um like reading books and things like that. Oh, that's that's perfect. That leads right into my next point, is erotica, which is basically erotic fiction. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly in short story format. So I suggest going to Powell's. They have a great erotica section. And picking out a book, bring it into bed with you. When you're both in bed and you're feeling safe and cozy, mm -hmm. pull it out and say, hey, I thought we could read some sexy stories together. And what this is doing is it's allowing a situation to happen where you can start to explore feelings and fantasies and it's and it's and it sparks your imagination in a new way where you could be like, well, what about that scene we just read? Like, uh -huh. did you think that was sexy? Because I found that very, very, very sexy. Okay. And it starts the conversation. Okay, yeah. Those long yeah. as can see, when I read in bed, I fall asleep. So maybe it just needs to be <laughs> the exact type of book is the, is the issue. So I got yeah. you. Okay, yeah. erotica then in bed. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk fantasies. Okay. So one thing that erotica also does is it, it, it peaks these new fantasies. It's, it's these new scenarios you haven't thought of before. Hmm. So talk about your fantasies with your partner and let them know, hey, this is what I've always thought about. I'm not saying I necessarily want to do it tomorrow or mm -hmm. do it ever. It might stay a fantasy. But this is something I've thought about a lot. And go first. So your partner
customer feels safe to go next. What do you mean go first? You mean ex tell, tell your fantasy for, oh, first. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. say, is this a solo situation? <laughs> no, no. I'm so confused. Okay. Yeah, so right. you start with, hey, I'd like to share a fantasy with you, and then share your fantasy, and then be like, well, have you ever thought about something you want to share? You know, and, and yeah. start it that way so your partner's like, it's kind of like, um, you know, lead by example. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but what if your partner says something that scares you? Then, the, you know, you got to talk about it and really look at why that scared you and maybe even take a moment to say, you know what, that made me feel uncomfortable. I need to sit with that for a little while, mm -hmm. kind of figure out why I'm feeling uncomfortable, and then revisit that conversation. Well, that was a really great response. Yeah. No, that seriously, because I yeah. think that would let the other person know that you are at least are contemplating and you're, you know... Being serious in mm -hmm. your consideration, yeah, and not so put off like, what did you say? Like that yeah. kind of response. Yeah, you want to be sure that you're not implying shame or judgment. Okay. okay. When it comes to your partner op finally opening up to you, right? Because that's like, the goal. Oh. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, right. I got you. Right. And then if all of those don't seem to work, yeah, what's your last tip? It's time to hire a sex coach. There really are sex coaches. Yeah, that's what I am. I mean, I know, but <laughs> as I'm talking to you, I don't know what I envision. I mean, what, what, what do sex coaches really do? Really? Well, I have a talk only practice, so okay. people come to me when they want to explore their the sexual side of themselves because they've never done it, they don't know how to do it, it's mm -hmm. scary. Um, and so a lot of times it's breaking down that shame, that guilt that comes with sexuality in our society. So what your partner might need is someone to really guide them through that exploration of that side of themselves because it's scary. What's on the other side of that is unknown. Right. So I really provide a safe and confidential space for them to do that. Well, that's good. Yeah. This is good stuff because I know people are, you know, sometimes they struggle. They do. And there's help. There is help. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always a great conversation. We're going to have more information about today's topic and about Christine for you on our website at katu.com.